of our lockdown COVID-19 quizzes. Uh, tonight uh, you have a pitch around which is dingbats. I know you, know you all like dingbats. All you've got to do is uh, name each correct one and you get two bonus points if you get them all correct. A dingbat is just like um, catchphrase. You just say what you see. Say what you see. Just like a bit of a catchphrase. Like I said, they're worth one point for each correct one. You get two bonus points if you get them all correct. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to start off on uh, round two. Round two is just general knowledge stuff. These questions are going to be worth one point for each correct one of these. So question number one is this one. If you were born on April the 29th, what star sign would you be? So that's if you were born on April the 29th, what star sign would you be? Your next question. Question number two. What's the name of the aeroplane that the American president rides in? What is What name is given to the aeroplane that the American president rides in? Nice can of gin tonight, thanks to uh, Yvette. Gin and tonic, gin and tonic tonight. Mm, lovely. Okay, your next question. Question number three. Question three is this one. Uh, which famous person in history rode a horse called Black Bess? So which famous person in history rode a horse that was called Black Bess? Okay. Question number four. Question four is this. What is the chemical symbol for the element helium? What is the chemical symbol for the element helium? Okay. Question number five. Question five is this. What became the tallest building in the world? What became the tallest building in the world when it opened in 1931? So what became the tallest building in the world when it opened in 1931? That genuine time is really nice. I like it. Mm. Good for you, that. Okay, your next question. Question number six. Question six. If a month has a Friday the 13th, so if a month has a Friday the 13th in it, then on what day of the week would that month begin? So if a month had a Friday the 13th, then what day of the week would that month begin? All right, here we go. Question number seven. Question seven is this one. Which artist tried to commit suicide by shooting himself in 1890, but didn't succeed until he tried again two days later? So which artist tried to commit suicide by shooting himself in 1890? But didn't succeed until he tried again two days later. Yeah, so that it's 1890. Next question. Question number eight. Situated on an island in the Mediterranean, what is Europe's largest active volcano? So situated in an island in the Mediterranean, what is Europe's largest active volcano? Yep, okay, here we go. Your next question. Question number nine. Question nine. What animal is known as the ship of the desert? What animal is known as the ship of the desert? And your final question. 
Your final question in this round, which is worth one point for each correct one of these. Don't forget, these are worth one point. So question number 10 is this one. In a game of Monopoly, what colour is Houston Road? In a game of Monopoly, what colour is Houston Road? Okay. So those questions, they were worth one point for each correct one of those. That was round two. We're now going to move on to your music round. We have a music round again tonight. And uh, tonight's music round may be a little bit difficult. It may not. You never know what, what we're going to try and do. Hopefully it doesn't get uh, shut down. But if it, does, it doesn't, then we'll be fine. So here we go. So your music tonight, it's, uh, all you got to do is name the song. But these songs, they've been going to be played backwards. So the songs are going to be played backwards. And all you got to do is name the song. Hopefully you know them. You may need to listen to them a few times. So don't forget to rewind the video so that you can uh, listen to the songs. And here we go. Your first one, number one. Is this one.
seven. connections that people really love the connections some people can't they can't stand the connections but uh it's it's a good round it's a good round so here we go so we're going to do the connections round uh if you don't if you've not done this quiz before what it is is your first four questions they're going to be worth one point for each correct one of these uh and question number five is worth six points if you can find a connection between your four answers so question number one who is said to have discovered penicillin in 1928? So who is said to have discovered penicillin in 1928? Question number two. This horror adventure film was a the biggest box office hit in 1975. This horror adventure film was the biggest box office hit in 1975. At that time it was classed as a horror. Question number three. What extra draw was added to the National Lottery in 1999? What extra draw was added to the National Lottery in 1999? I think they mean, I mean, uh, 
an extra game, another game, different game by a different name. So what extra draw was added to the National Lottery in 1999? And your final question, question number four, which is worth one point. This is question four. What is the 17th letter of the alphabet? What is the 17th letter of the alphabet? And question number five. Question five is worth six points if you can find a connection between your four answers. So question five worth six points if you can find a connection between your four answers. Okay, so in total that round could be worth ten points to you. We're going to move on now to your next round of questions. So your next round of questions, which is your entertainment round. These questions are going to be worth one point for each correct one of these. And this is your entertainment round. Don't forget one point for each correct one. And question number one is this one. What's the name? Well, should I say, I'll give it a bit better. What is the first name of the character played by Robert De Niro in the 1976 film Taxi Driver? So what was Robert De Niro's character's first name? In the 1976 film Taxi Driver. Okay. Question number two. Question two is this. What 1982 what 1982 film stars Dustin Hoffman as an actor who disguised himself as a woman to get work. So what 1982 film starring Dustin Hoffman as an actor who disguised himself as a woman to get work? All right, your next question, question number three. Question three is this one. In July 2002, actress Angelina Jolie filed divorce from which actor? So in July 2002, actor Angelina Jolie filed divorce from which actor? Don't forget these questions. They're going to be worth uh, one point for each correct one of these. Question four. Question four is this one. In the cartoon series, The Simpsons, what musical instrument does Lisa Simpson play? So in the cartoon series The Simpsons, what musical instrument does Lisa Simpson play? Okay, here we go. Question number five. Question five is this. Who played Pussy Galore in the James Bond movie Goldfinger? So who played Pussy Galore in the James Bond movie Goldfinger? Don't forget to like the video as well if you do enjoy um, these quizzes. And please comment on the video as well as you're, you're, you're playing it. That would be great. And it's quite a bit of fun as well. So question number six. Question six is this one. Who played Dr. Grant in the film Jurassic Park? Who played Dr. Grant in the film Jurassic Park? Your next question, question number seven. Question seven is this one. Who played the villain Howard Payne in the film Speed? Starring Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock, I believe. So who played the villain Howard Payne in the film Speed? Next question. Question number eight. Question eight is this one. Who played Annie Wilkes in the 1990 movie Misery? So who played the character of Annie Wilkes in the 1990 film Misery? Okay, your next question. Question number nine is this one. The film Train Spotting was from a novel 
by which author? That's the film Train Spotting was from a novel by which author? Don't forget these questions are going to be worth one point for each correct one of these. And don't forget also that your comments as well, that'd be much appreciated if you do like the video. Just comment on the video for us, please. Your next question, question number 10. Question 10 is this one. Uh, who played Frankenstein's monster in the 1931 film Frankenstein? Who played Frankenstein's monster in the 1931 film Frankenstein? Okay. Those questions. Those questions, they were worth one point for each correct one of those. Now we're going to move on to your final round of questions. This is the round you need to be careful because it is two points for a correct answer, minus four points for an incorrect answer. But if you leave it blank, you get no points or any minuses. So basically, like I've said before in previous quizzes, if you don't know it, don't answer it and you get no points or any minuses. Okay, so your first question for two points is this one. The island of Gotland, that's Gotland, spelled G-O-T-L-A-N-D, belongs to which country? Question number two. Which country had the Roman name Hibernia? Which country had the Roman name Hibernia? H-I-B-E-R-N-I-A Your next question. Question number three. Question three is this one. Who assassinated John Lennon? Who assassinated John Lennon? Next question. Question number four. Back to a Monopoly board. How many housing property squares are there on a Monopoly board? How many housing property squares are there on a Monopoly board? Question five. Question five. Which Shakespearean character famously said to be or not to be? That is the question. So which Shakespearean character famously said to be or not to be? That is the question. Don't forget two points for a correct answer. Minus four for an incorrect answer on this round. And question number six is this one. Which football club did Kenny Dalglish leave in 1977 to join Liverpool? So which football club did Kenny Dalglish leave in 1977 to join Liverpool? Question number seven. Question seven is this question. Which playing card is sometimes referred to as the Black Lady? So which playing card is sometimes referred to as the Black Lady? Okay, your next question. Question number eight. Question eight is this. What is the bottom stripe? What is the color of the bottom stripe on a US flag? So what is the colour of the bottom stripe on the US flag or USA flag? Next question, question number nine. Question nine is this one. How many hurdles must a runner jump over in the 110 men's hurdles race? So how many hurdles must a runner jump over in a 110 meters men's hurdle race i 
And your final question, your final question in your quiz this evening, question number 10, is this one. Who was the first woman to win the Nobel Peace Prize? Who was the first woman to win, in fact, I'll say that again. Who was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize? There you go. And who was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize? Those questions, like I say, they're worth uh, two points for a correct answer, minus four for an incorrect answer. If you left it blank, you get no points or any minuses. That was your final question in your quiz this evening. Uh, we're going to take a short break. I'll be back here at around about uh, quarter to nine and nine o'clock live with your answers. So if you want to join me then live for your answers. And if you please, like I say, do comment on the videos. Uh, so that would be much appreciated. It makes me feel like I'm... Uh, doing a really good job for you and uh, that you're all enjoying the quizzes so please do that and i'll see you later thank you